Hello, in this video I want to demonstrate um, a MHL um, VGA adapter and um, the 11 pin adapter that goes with the um, Samsung model phones. Um, now the whole idea behind the 5 pin and the 11 pin is of course Everybody knows Samsung has now begun to make their phones with the rapid charging. As a result, um, they have now gone from five pins, which is basically connections. It's five connections inside of your standard cell phone in order for your phone to connect to the um, micro USB. But with Samsung, because they want more power, they've gone from five connections to 11 connections and those connections are called pins so as a result of that since Samsung now has the 11 pin when you buy one of these adapters you also need to make sure that you have the 11 pin adapter which looks like this it's just a little um, box with a micro USB um, plug sticking out of the end and it's an 11 pin and the phones that it works for are the Samsung Mega um, the S3 models starting at the S3 to the S6 the Note models starting with Note 2 to the Note 4 and all Samsung Edge models all of these have rapid charging all of these have the 11 pin system so therefore you need the 11 pin adapter okay and this is the packaging that actually that mine came in this is what it looked like um, because I know a lot of people are saying that they they bought it and it didn't work um, but mine actually came with the 11 pin adapter you can see it right here um, in the upper right corner here um, and it's you know very small uh, and uh, it comes with it so that allows you and as you look at the box it says that this MHL to VGA adapter is good for the Note, the Note 2, the Note 3 um, because when you use the regular standard bottom pin, the 5 pin you can plug into the other um, phones like HTC LG, um, Nexus, and uh, Nokia, anything else that has an MHL um, a capability. This is the back of the box, so I just, you know, grabbed this picture to show you what it looks like. Because if you buy this, it's going to work, okay? If you buy this particular model, um, but they don't have like a name brand, but the box looks like this. And this is what comes in it it's three things you have the adapter itself which is this u-shaped device with the box on it you have the 11 pin converter and then you have an audio cable cord um, because VGA doesn't support audio so if you have a computer monitor that has speakers or if you're plugging it into a TV you're gonna also need to plug the audio into the cord from the phone so you plug it into the headphone jack and then you plug it into this little um, headphone uh, 3.5 millimeter plug and then you should have sound as well with your video um, of course I'm going to demonstrate that but this is just for instruction purposes and this is pretty much what it looks like when you connect it um, it's it's blurry this is the instructions on the back of the box um, it pretty much lets you know how it works. Um, it tells you you can use a projector, a computer monitor, or a TV. Um, it's letting you know that it's VGA. That's the sound. It's, you know, and then it shows you here that this is the standard 5 pin. And the, the phones are listed here. Uh, S1, S2, Note, HTC, and LG. And then this is the adapter here. And the phones are listed there, S3, S4, Note 2, Note 3, and all of the other ones. And then I did my research and found out that it works for the edges as well, as well as the Mega. 
um, they have 11 pin connections as well um, so let's get to the demonstration okay so these are like all my little cords and stuff so it's, it's messy in my little corner um, but of course this is here um, my I don't like that it changed my it's not coming up clear uh, let me try another camera camera that comes up clear okay so that's a little a little clearer okay so here is um, my note 3 and um, the adapter this is it um, it's actually still in the box that it came in you see it's no bigger than you know your thumb it's not really that large at all and it has the 11 pin um, this is the 11 pin adapter um, try to get it in focus here alright so it's slightly different than the standard 5 pin um, let me see if I can really get it to come in I'm moving a lot This may require another camera too. Let me see. Let's try this one. Some cameras focus better than others. Ah, there it is. So you can see here that the 11 pin changes. Let's do daylight fluorescent cloudy day okay cloudy day comes up best and here is the 11 pin this is the size of it this is what it looks like okay so and it has the USB plug there and if you look that's shaped slightly different than that one this is why they're different but for instance the uh, video I'm going to use this this is the same thing but it's a cord and this actually just serves me better um, the cord it just works easier with my connection here is the adapter box here and as you can see um, there is the headphone where you plug in the adapter cord this is the power cord where you have to plug your phone cord or whatever device you're using into that the micro USB plug and then this is the VGA cord adapter that is connected to the monitor so the monitor has a VGA plug on the back so you have the VGA cord plugged in um, the way that it's designed is it's um, embedded in there so the screws that are made to screw on there and lock it in place um don't go in deep enough to lock it so i just have a rubber band um attached to mine so that when i move it around it doesn't come apart uh i got a little tangle situation going on here so let me try and tangle okay so you have the vga cord here plugged in um that's what it looks like plugged into the box okay so now I'm gonna uh, plug everything in and uh, show it to you oh one more thing this is the audio cable that it came with uh, I don't use the audio cable because my computer monitor does not have um, sound so I use speakers so this is the plug I use to plug into my phone so let's start with the first initial setup so I'm charging the phone so I'm going to take that same cord that I use on my phone and I'm going to plug it in here into the box. So, alright. 
so now the box has power and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 11 pin converter well now let me demonstrate because this is important so this is the 5 pin this is what's made for like the HTC um, LG um, Nokia model phones that have um, LG connection so I mean MHL capability and you see here the letters MHL is on there so let's say you forget and you plug this in when you plug it in it's not going to do anything but charge so if you look here on the phone it lit up and it it just thinks that you plugged the power cord into it uh, here's the monitor um, nothing's showing up because this stuff is plug and play um, so that's what's gonna happen so that's what I believe is happening to a lot of people who don't have the 11 pin connection um, they they plug the MHL cord in and instead of it um, charging I mean, instead of it showing on a monitor, it just starts charging the phone. Now, this is the two cords plugged in together. So, this is the original 5-pin plug. And this is the 11-pin adapter cord. And so, um, trying to get it to come in. Just, it's not. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to plug it into the phone and it's plugged into the phone and you get a little message there that says um, HDMI plugged into the phone but one of the things I've also noticed with um, the Samsung devices is it doesn't always turn the screen on so what I think is happening too with some people is if your screen is black because it's you know the MHL is designed to display what's on your monitor then if your screen is black on your phone you're gonna go to the monitor and that's gonna be black as well it's not gonna light up or display anything until you turn your screen back on and then as you can see what's on my phone is now on my computer screen so those are two things that I think if you have all of the right connections, those are two things that could possibly um, be happening to you that could cause you to think that you're not properly connected because even though you're plugging your phone in, it may not automatically turn your phone on. And if your phone screen is black, then your monitor is going to be black. So the next step is to then take the speakers, which... I only have one hand. I'm holding my phone to record with one hand. And so the next thing you do is you take the speakers and you plug that into a oh, wrong spot. The headphone jack. My speakers have like a loose loose spot in their cord. All right. So this will allow you to not only get sound and picture. So now you see everything that's on my phone is now being displayed. And it's real time. Um, I mean, it's no delay. So that's the wonderful thing, you know, I love about this um, connection is that it's all um, in real time. Um, so, I mean, one of the key things that I think is crucial... Um, in setting your phone and, and plugging these things up is making sure that all of your connections are secure and everything's connected and having power it's extremely um, critical for you to have power because I'll demonstrate so you see the phone and you see the monitor there if I were to unplug this it automatically goes off so that's another thing if you do not have your power source plugged into this box you're not going to get display either so you have to make sure you have the power you have to make sure everything's properly connected and you have to make sure that you have the 11 pin 
If you have all of those things, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to connect um, all of those Samsung devices that I listed earlier. Um, and just for reference, uh, just for reference, we'll go back to them. And we'll display them again. All of those. So it is the Samsung Mega. The S3, S4, S5, S6, the Note 2, the Note 3, the Note 4, and all the Samsung Edge models. Um, I hope that this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.